BYD started life as a maker of mobile phone batteries just 13 years ago and has only been producing cars for five. The car they've come up with is the F3. It runs up to 100 kilometers on battery power alone, enough for the average commute, says the manufacturer. And when the battery runs low, the petrol engine switches in. And according to the company's promotional video, there are a number of options for refueling. Outside the showroom, I get the chance to try one for myself. Tender, tender key. Inside, everything about the car looks normal. The steering wheel, dashboard, the only difference is how it's powered. So the car is now powered by battery? Yes. Okay. Well, it's not going to win any awards for style, this car, but it certainly has a real kick, quite a powerful acceleration. Um, it's very smooth, in fact, smoother than I thought. BYD believes its batteries give it a winning edge. All our batteries are recycled, the power is recycled, so it's, it's uh, environmental beneficial, so people will like it. So it's Not a, only China, I think most of uh, your Western country uh, people will like it very much. Chairman Mao said the East is red, but maybe the East is green. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> right. the batteries can be fully charged in nine hours from a regular electrical outlet, or much faster at BYD's own charging stations, which of best? which there are only seven so far, but the plan is eventually for thousands. Green technology has long been in the slow lane in China, but it now seems to recognize the need to reduce its fast-growing dependence on crude oil and to limit its choking emissions.